How's it going, guys? My name is TJP, and welcome back to another Emily the Show 22 franchise rebuild. In today's video, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers. So, if you guys are enjoying the content, leave a like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments below some more video ideas. Check my socials down in the description. We have a playlist down below containing other Emily the Show 22 franchise rebuilding content, and check out my channel if you like content for me, TJP. And as I've mentioned previously in videos, these are meant to be fun rebuilds. So, some moves may or may not be realistic, but either way, we're here to win a championship. World Series, so let's get on into it. So we're locked and loaded into MLB The Show, and this is the team we've got. So let's take a look at the lineups here. So obviously, there's really not many moves we need to make with this team to compete. I mean, it's already really good. I mean, we've got Trey Turner, Chris Taylor, Freddie Freeman, Max Muncy, Will Smith. Uh, not the one that slapped Chris Rock, of course. Uh, I'm just kidding. Anyways, Justin Turner, Mookie Betts, Cody Bellinger, and Gavin Lux, uh, who is you know technically supposed to be a second baseman but i'm fine with him playing i guess in left although we could try to get a better left fielder maybe you know see how justin turner does he might regress uh so we'll see then we got barnes alberto rios uh zach kintry maya's on, on the bench it's a de pretty decent bench team's looking good but i think we can make it better i mean we don't even need to make too many moves i mean kershaw bueller Julio Urias, that's pretty incredible. We got Tony Gonzalez, Andrew Haney, not too bad. Then we got our bullpen with Tyler Anderson, Andre Jackson, Daniel Hudson, Phil Bickford, David Price is in the bullpen now. Jeez, he's a relief pitcher. Got Gratterall, Tommy Canley, Craig Kimbrell, Blake Trinan is our closer. So, I mean, this team is pretty stacked to the brim. So, uh, but if there's a way we can make this team better, I will. I'll look to see if there's any trades we can make. Like, maybe for, like, a, like just, like, a left fielder. But, honestly, like, this team is, as is, could probably win the World Series. But we'll see if there's a move out there. Just maybe one. One for now and maybe one at the All-Star break. But let's see what's out there. I'll see what's out there. We're probably over the budget, though. Yeah, we are. All right, I'm going to take a look, see what I can muster up, and I'll see you guys if I have a trade. All right, I'm just going to do this show with the Athletics. So we're going to give up uh, Diego uh, Cartaya, Jake Lamb, and Eddie Alvarez. For Seth Brown and Adam Kolarek. So that's the only trade I'm going to make. Uh, right now. So there you go. Uh, we got a slightly better left fielder. <coughs> and we get another relief pitcher to add to our already potent bullpen. So that's the only move I'm going to make. And I will see you guys at the All-Star break. Alright, so we're at All-Star Week and we are underperforming. Of course, the minute... It, 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 this is incredible, right? So the Dodgers always do well... When I'm not simulating with them, yet we're only 54 and 41. I mean, we're still, like, doing okay. But the fact that we are only 54 and 41 is kind of concerning. You know, I thought this team would be better. It looks like we had a few injuries, so maybe that's why. But, like, god dang. And I'm probably going to have to get a better third basing because I feel like Justin Turner is starting to regress a lot in terms of injuries. Uh, we don't really have many. So it's not really even injuries. So I don't know what the heck is going on. In terms of our lineups, um... Trey Turner's having a pretty solid season. Chris Taylor's having a good season. Freddie Freeman's playing great. Muncy's been, you know, eh. Will Smith's on fire, but uh, the average is a little low. Uh, Mickey Betts, uh, Justin Turner's been cold, but he's actually doing okay. Uh, Cody Bellard's been on fire, and then James Outman is playing left field for some reason. So I guess Seth Brown is just, like, not in the majors? No, he's not. Okay, weird. Um... I don't understand why, but okay. And then just looking at everybody else, Gavin Lux hasn't played too much. Yeah, the bench isn't that great. So, I, I mean, I'm a little worried. I'm a little concerned. Uh, our hitting isn't that great. Our pitching, Walker Bueller's been great. Hershaw's been great. Julio Urias has kind of struggled. Tony Gonzalez has been really good. Uh, Andrew Heaney, okay. Dustin May is not even in the pros. Like, what? How is Dustin May not in the pros? Uh, we got to call him up. Um, Danny Duffy is also not in the pros. He, maybe he should be. But, um, yeah, just looking at the bullpen. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty solid. Um, except Blake Trinan struggling a little bit. Uh, Tommy Canely is terrible. Uh, he's been terrible. And Craig Kimbrell's been not good either. So that's another thing that's kind of concerning. So I kind of want to move up Dustin May. Uh, I definitely don't think he should be in the minors. Uh, so we're going to fix that um, now. And then we'll also... Why is he not on the 40-man roster? 
Okay, I, let me fix this before I do anything else. All right, so I, I think I fixed what I needed to fix. So Seth Brown's out on the majors, so is Dustin May. I, I again, I don't really know what was going on there, but um, we're kind of over the budget, so I don't think I'm gonna make any trades. We're kind of just gonna keep the team the way it is. I called up, like I said, Dustin May, so maybe he'll help out, and Seth Brown might be able to help out. But other than that, I think I'm just gonna keep the team the way it is, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year, where hopefully um, we can maintain, we could probably have a good second half of the season or maintain like a wild card. Okay, so we underperformed this season. 95 and 67. We made the postseason as a wildcard team. Taking on the Braves. Hopefully we could beat the Braves. But yeah, we did not do that. I, I mean, we it's like we won 95 games, which was good. But I thought we would have been a lot better, personally. But I, I don't know what ended up happening with the team. But either way, I mean, really nobody in the MLB was that good this season. Uh, the Padres had the best record with 100 wins. So there's that. Uh, but... You know, we'll take it what we could, how we could be. Uh, there you guys go. In terms of our pitching, Bueller and Kershaw were really, really good, though. And one of them definitely won the side. Freddie Freeman was an MVP. No, they didn't win the side. Freddie Freeman won MVP, though. That's awesome. And Max Muncy was third in the running. So that was good. And I extended Max Muncy, um, which is cool. Uh, Austin Barnes got hurt. Uh, backup catcher. So Trey Turner had extended. Chris and he had a good year. Chris Taylor had a good year. Freddie Freeman obviously won MVP, so he had a great year. Um, Max Muncy had a, uh, obviously a good year too. He's third. Uh, Will Smith was good. Cody Bellinger decent season for him. Boogie Betts kind of struggled in the second half. Seth Brown ended up out on the fire, so that's nice. And then Edward Rios playing third, so it looks like uh, I don't even know what happened to Justin Turner. He's just not here anymore, so that's cool. Uh, okay. Pitcher rotation, Walker Buehler was really good. Same thing with Kershaw. They were both awesome. Obviously, Kershaw, we extended him. Williers kind of struggled a little bit this season. Dustin May wasn't that great either. And Tony Gonzalez was really good. Andrew Haney wasn't that great. Tyler Anderson was really good. Hudson, Bickford was really good. Colerac didn't even pitch. Trina kind of struggled. Tommy Canley was garbage. and He didn't pitch that much, but thank goodness that he didn't. Um, and then Craig Kimbrell wasn't that good either. So... We're taking on the Braves in the wild card. The question is, can we beat them? We don't. So, we, this team is supposed to win the World Series, like, literally every year. And then I pick them. And for some reason, we can't seem to just... We can't even get out of the po wild card? It, it's actually a joke. It's literally a joke. And it, it just doesn't make any sense. It literally doesn't make any sense. All right, let's just see who wins the World Series. I mean, I, I, I really can. This is annoying, too, this stupid roster thing. And the Angels beat the Brewers. So just, like, it just doesn't... It, it's, it's Okay, we got two more seasons. So let's go on the offseason. We got to fix this team. All right, so we're at contract... Um, contract. So, honestly, like, some of these guys I don't even want to sign. Like, I guess Trinan, I, I'll trust him. Craig Kimbrell, I don't even know if I want to bring him back. Danny Duffy... Um, I guess we could give... No, I don't even want to give him money if he's not going to even be in the pros. Uh, Tommy Canley, we're not going to... We're just not letting him walk. Uh, but everybody else here, like Judson, will offer him a contract. And then, obviously, we have tenderings to do. We might have a decent amount of money, though, in free agency. I'm just looking at our budget. And then, obviously, we'll have arbitration. So, maybe that might eat up some of the budget. So, we'll see. But uh, I'm going to do all of that off-camera, and then I'll see you guys at the free agency. All right, so at free agency, the biggest thing I need to get is a third baseman, and there's really nobody in third in this free agency that's good at third base, so we're probably going to have to trade for one, but um, definitely going to get some bullpen help, maybe try to get a left fielder, um, like another left fielder. So let's see what, see what I can get out there, maybe even another starting pitcher. So yeah, it's mainly going to be bullpen now. All right, so first signing we made, we ended up getting Ryan Presley, see our new closing pitcher. All right, we also picked up Edwin Diaz to add to the bullpen. I did also get Will Smith as well, um, and I think I also was en ended up uh, signing Seth Lugo. I tried to get Chad Green, couldn't get him, but that's fine. Uh, we definitely revamped the bullpen, so that's awesome to see. I ended up not getting another starting pitcher, but we do need to trade for a third baseman, so that's something we're to do right now after uh, I'm done simulating. All right, I'm going to do this trade with the Red Sox. So, Zach McKinstry, Reyes Maranta, and Bru uh, Bruce Dar Gratterall to the Red Sox. We're going to get Rafael Devers. Obviously, this is such an like an obvious trade for me. So, he's going to be our new third baseman. It's a big trade right there. 
Alright guys, so we're at the start of the second season and just want to look at this team. It's pr looking pretty good. So Trey Turner, Chris Taylor, Freddie Freeman, Max Muncy, Raphael Devers, Will Smith. I did sign Bet Attendee as well. Forgot to mention that. Uh, and then we got Cody Bellinger and then Mookie Betts. And then we got Austin Barnes going off the bench with Gavin Lux, Evan Rios, Seth Brown, uh, Jorba Vivas, um, Jacob Amaya, James Outman, Miguel Vargas. Okay. Pretty solid stuff there. They're probably not going to all be in the majors, but some of those guys will be. And obviously, our our bullpen and rotation are kind of, rotation's pretty much the same. Bueller, Kershaw, Urias, Dustin May, and Tony Gonzalez. We got Tyler Anderson, uh, Jackson, Pedro Vila. We got Trinan. Hopefully, he'll have a bounce back season, much better year this year. Seth Lugo. Hopefully, he'll be pretty good. Daniel Hudson, Phil Bickford, Edwin Diaz, Will Smith, Ryan Presley, uh, Cole Rex. I mean, this bullpen's pretty filthy. Uh, definitely better than last year's bullpen. Hopefully. We just got to make sure we can perform. Hopefully, everyone can pitch well. Hopefully, we can hit the ball well. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to make any moves right now. If we need to make a trade at the deadline, you will see me make one. But I'm going to keep the team the way it is. And I'll see you guys once I'm at the All-Star break. Okay. Um, we're 79-19 and 19 at All-Star break. We are 79-19 and 19 at the All-Star break. Um, okay. That's incredible. That's ridiculous. Austin Barnes is hurt, but it doesn't even matter. Like, guys, 79 and 19 at the All Star break. Think about that for a minute. That's almost an 800 percentage. Actually, it is 800. We almost had 80 wins. We literally could have had. Wow. I cannot believe this. I really can. Injuries are on, so. Holy cow. Thank goodness nobody's gotten hurt. I mean, Trey Turner's been amazing. Chris Taylor's been amazing. Freddie Freeman's been amazing. Um. Max Muncy, he's kind of been meh. Devers has been meh. Will Smith has been unbelievable. Uh, ben and Tenney's had a great season. Belger's been playing good. Boogie Betts having a good year. Off the bench, the bench is only, like, pretty decent. It's not like, amazing. So, honestly, you just have a bunch of guys that are hitting the ball well. I feel like our pitching has been ridiculous. I think that's why. Oh, my God. Walker Buehler has the most ridiculous pitching stats I've ever had to look at here. 16-1. and one. Oh my gosh. And then Urias having a bit great season. Oh my god. K Kershaw is 15-0. Dustin May's been good. And then Tony Gonzalez hasn't even been that good. He hasn't even been that good. And it's still... Oh my gosh. Okay, Tyler Anderson's been really good. Lugo's been great. Will Smith. Oh yeah, we have Will Smith. Two Will Smiths. Uh, Will Smith's exception. Uh, Phil Bickford's been good. Daniel Hudson's been okay. Presley's been... Uh, pretty decent, pretty decent. 19 saves, so that's cool. Uh, Blake Trinan, much better season this year for him than Edwin Diaz is our closer, actually. He's had 17 saves, 14 holds. Um, okay, I mean, I don't care as long as the bullpen and everyone is just going to play well. I mean, there's no point in making any moves. We're keeping the team the way it is, and I will see you guys at the end of the season. I mean, this team is ridiculous. End of the season, 122 and 40. Uh, this is definitely one of my better teams that I've ever re uh, ever had to build. I mean, I've only made a few moves, but if we don't win, who the hell cares, right? I think the Blue Jays team was better. The one that I ended up just saying F it and going all in on. But okay, this team is looking ridiculous. And yeah, 122 wins. Now the question is league leaders. Oh my gosh, so many guys uh, that are league leaders. We had awards. We might as well look at them. Cy Young, Walker Buehler, MVP Freddie Freeman, who had an amazing season, and Walker Buehler, oh my gosh, he had 193 RBIs, I'm kidding, <laughs> no, but wow, 23-2, and two, that's ridiculous, um, and in itself, do we have any injuries, all just Austin Barnes, okay, lineups, Trey Turner, unbelievable season, well, really good season, Chris Taylor was really good, Freddie Freeman obviously won MVP, so he was really good, Devers, good power numbers, a little on the average, but still had a good, decent year, um, couldn't extend him and Cody Bellinger because I extended Bueller and Urias and yeah, we're way, we don't have enough money. So that could be a problem. Uh, Ben Attendee, Will Smith, they were good. Bellinger was pretty good. Boogie Betts was pretty good. And then Muncie, not too bad as well. And then our bench, we got Gavin Lux, who was pretty decent. I mean, Urias wasn't even in the pros and then other guys were okay off the bench. You know, it does the trick. Obviously the rotation, Bueller was unbelievable. Urias had a great season. Dustin May was good. Kershaw and Ethan Colby was still pretty good. And then Gonzalez had a better second half, but didn't have a great season. Um, Tyler said the bullpen was good, though. Seth Lugo, Will Smith kind of struggled a little bit. Second half of the year, Bickford, Hudson struggled a little bit. Diaz was okay. Trina was good. Presley 
with 34 saves, so I like to see that. Um, okay. So the question now becomes, because, wow, Rocky, we were 36 games better than the Rockies. The Phillies versus the Rockies. So we're playing one of those two teams. And, okay, the Angels at 100 wins. Okay, by far, we are the best team. So, by that logic, we should win. But there's no guarantee, right? Bueller versus Marquez, game one, we win 5-1. Here is first Gomber, game two, we win, three to two. Can we win game three with Dustin May on the bump? Nope, we lose against Giolito. Game four, Kershaw, we win, and we're going to the NLCs to take on the Chicago Cubs. Okay, Bueller versus Stroman, game one, we win, nine to four. Urias versus Hendricks, game two, we lose. Dustin May, game three, we win with a five nothing. Game four, we win, four nothing. We win game five. Going to the World Series to take on either the Angels or the Rays. Is it gonna be the Angels? It's gonna be the Angels. The Battle of LA. Bueller versus Otani, game one, we lose 4-2. Urias versus Syndergaard, game two, we lose. We're down 2-0. We win game three, win game four, lose game five, don't lose game six. Really. 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 You win 122 games and you can't win the World Series. Really. Really, this is what we're going to do now. This is really what we're going to do now to move the show, right? We're really gonna lose to the to the to the Angels who won hundred games. Man, Urias, I, I might have to trade you. You pitched terrible in the postseason. Seth Lugo, what the hell happened to you? Diaz was garbage. Okay. Well we're capped on budget. I, that was our best chance, and we freaking blew it. So I guess we're going to the offseason. We better win one. Otherwise, this is a complete disaster of a video. All right, so I offer Devers and Bellinger. So I'd like to keep them around. We're going to have some tender we have some arbitration. We're going to have some tendering to do. Um, not that many arbitration, though, which is cool. So we might actually have a decent amount of money in free agency, I'm hoping. So we're going all in again because it's the Dodgers. We might as well go all in. All right, so at free agency, I'm just going to offer a couple guys contracts. I mean, really don't need anybody, per se, but we're just going to throw out some contracts. So, obviously, I'd like to retain the retain Devers and retain Bellinger. Um, I mean, I'm going to throw it out. I'm going to throw an offer at Otani. So, why not? Um, and I'll throw a couple offers at other, some other guys. So, let me do that, and I'll see you guys once I have some guys on the table to sign. Well, we picked up Shohei Otani. I said I was going to do a big signing, and look at that. Shohei Otani, welcome to the Dodgers. And we're going to pick up Jack Flaherty. We're picking up Jack Flaherty. There you go. I'm happy with that. I'm pretty much done. I think I'm done making moves. I mean, I might make a trade, but I'm done. Ma I think I'm done signing people. Um, yeah, I think I'm done signing people. So I will see you guys at the start of third final season season and i think i also ended up picking up garrett hampson i think he's gonna be on the team yeah i also picked up garrett hampson so i did do another signing but this is gonna be the team so we got trey turner chris taylor freddie freeman devers ben attendee will smith Cord cody bellinger i said Corey almost okay whoops cody bellinger Mookie Betts, and max muncie on the bench got rios lux seth brown vivas hampson so i mean actually we have a surplus i don't think i need another second baseman to be honest but I ended up getting one, so there you go. I mean, this team is stacked to the brim. Stacked to the brim again. Pitching rotation, Otani, Bueller, Urias, Flaherty, and May. That's just disgusting. I mean, Clayton Kershaw, Tony Gonzalez, who I might look to trade. I don't know. Maybe we trade him, and I don't know what we'd want to get, but something. Maybe we can get something for him. Who knows? I mean, Tyler Anderson, you got Seth Lugo still, Will Smith, Bickford, Presley, Trinan, Diaz. Hopefully the bullpen doesn't choke in the playoffs like it did this year, though, or like it did last season. I mean, we're way over the... We're not really way over the budget, but maybe there's a trade we can make. If there is one we can make, I'll make it, but I'm probably just going to keep the team the way it is, and um, yeah, I mean, it's, this team is ridiculous. It's kind of unfair, but at the same time, if we don't win the World Series, then what does it matter, right? So we have to win the World Series, otherwise it doesn't matter. Um, so let me, uh, I guess, let's just get on the simulating. I don't think I want to make a trade. I think we should keep the team the way it is. So I'll see you guys at the All-Star break. 
Like 64 and 32. I mean, that's a good record. Obviously not as ridiculous as 79 and 19. Or I think that's what it was. Yeah, 79 and 19. But still a good record. Um, and no injuries so far, or at least, at least at this very moment. So that's pretty solid. Lineups are looking like this. Trey Turner's playing really well. Chris Taylor's playing really, really well. Freddie Freeman's obviously. These guys are all playing great. Devers is having a great season. Cody Bellinger's been struggling at the plate this year, which is a little unfortunate. Will Smith has been cold, but he's having a good year. Mookie Betts has a nice season. And then Max Muncy, Seth Brown's been okay. Benatendi's been good. Lux has been good off the bench. Vivas, okay. Otani hasn't hit that much. He's only hit five home runs. Oh my. Um, interesting. Uh, has he missed some games? Looks like he's missed some games, but it looks like he's pitching well, which is cool to see. Let's take a look at the pitching. Yeah, he's pitching pretty good. Bueller's having a good season. Urias having a good season. Jack Flaherty's kind of struggling. Dustin May is also struggling. Same as Kershaw. I don't care. The pitching's kind of struggling. Trina's been cold. Presley. Uh, Bigford's been good. Hudson's been struggling. Lugo's been really good. Will Smith. Yeah, honestly, our pitching isn't that good this season, um, which is kind of scary. So hopefully we can pick up in the second half of the season. Um... We're nine games up currently, and just looking at the standings, we do have the, don't even have the best record in the MLB, it's, that actually is the Braves, okay, um, I mean, we could, theoretically, uh, make a trade, um, I'm trying to look to see if there's anybody in AAA that's really good, I mean, Garrett Hampson, we could move him, um, and there's also potentially moving, uh, Gonzalez, who's been really good in, uh, in the minors, so maybe we move them for something else. I'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm, um, I'm gonna see what trades out there. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do the trade with the with the Orioles. So Cody Bellinger's not having a great season, and I mean he could turn it on in the second half of the year. But Cedric Mole has been on fire, and I think maybe if he could just sustain this, it's it's okay. And then, you know, Tony's not even in the, he's in the minors, and Garrett Hampson's in the minors. So I feel like just addition by subtraction might be useful here. So we're going to do that trade. And that's going to be the team. So I will see you guys at the end of the season. Get this of a record as we had last year, but 107 wins is still really good. 175, 100 division. Taking the winner of the wildcard playoff game, who is going to be between Miami and Philly. And taking a look at the standings, obviously we had 107 wins, so had the best record. And uh, the Braves had 105, the Angels had 100 again. Um, okay, league leaders, there you go. Um, awards, there you go. Urias with the Cy Young, uh, which is cool. He was 21 and seven. Otani was a runner up, and then Bueller was the third runner up. So that's impressive, I guess, to say the least. Uh, in terms of injury, Mookie Betts got hurt, but it looks like he's back. Uh, in terms of our lineups, Turner, decent season. Chris Taylor was unbelievable. Wow, he had a great season. Uh, Freddie Freeman was uh, very good again. Devers had a nice year. Ben Attendee was okay. Will Smith, good year, especially for a catcher. Cedric Mullins kind of cooled off when we traded for him, but still had a pretty solid year. Luigi Betts had a nice year. Um, and then Gavin Lux is playing second. Uh, okay, decent. Muncy, Mon M Max Muncy's coming off the bench. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right. Uh, Rotation-wise, Otani was pr was obviously pretty good. I mean, uh, Bueller is good, really good, obviously, because he won the Cy Young. Oh, no, uh, did he win the Cy Young, or was it Urias? Was it Urias that won it? I think it was U was it Uri I think it was Urias that won it. I don't know. Someone won it. Don't remember if it was Urias or Walker Bueller either. They were all good. Flaherty ended up having a decent second half of the season. Dustin May ended the season hot, but a little high on the ERA. Kershaw was pretty good. Trina was good, really good. Presley, yeah, I mean. The team is looking good. Diaz had 40 saves, but a little high on the ERA. Well, who's it, who are we taking on? It's going to be Miami. Okay, Miami. Sandy Alcantara versus Otani. Game one, we lose 7-6. to six. Bueller versus Lopez, we win 5-1. to one. Game three, Flaherty, we win. Can we win game four? Yes. All right, we're going to the NLCS, and we're taking on the Atlanta Braves. Otani versus McCullers Jr. Okay, so they got McCullers. Uh, okay, game one, we win 6-3. to three. Bueller versus Free, game two, we lose 10-3. to three. Flaherty versus Soroka, we lose. Can we win game four? We win game four. Can we win game five? Win don't lose in six. Okay, don't lose in seven. Good. We're taking on the Astros. Okay. Rematch of the 2017 World Series. Okay. Not, it's completely different teams, though. And let, let's just take a look at what the Astros were again. What were they? They had how many wins? The Astros had 95. Okay, they were a wildcard team as well. Okay. 
Can we beat the Astros? That is the question. Game one, Otani versus Garcia. We lose 73. Bueller versus Anderson. We lose game two. Are we going to win game three? Win game three. Can we win game four? Win game four. Can we win game five? We lose game five. Don't lose game six. We win game six. Can we win game seven? I can't. This video is a failure. Really. We really lost. We really lost. So you're going to tell me that I can win with, like, certain teams, like the Tigers, the Rockies, and I can't win with the Dodgers. It just doesn't make any sense. Literally doesn't make any sense. Trinan blew the game. We... This is a trend. This is literally a trend, too, by the way, where we go to seven games, and we're winning the game, and then we just blow the lead. And we blow it, like, in the ninth inning. Every time. <sighs> That's just... You really can't make this up. Why would we put... Oh my god. What, what is our bullpen, dude? <sighs> I can't, man. I literally can't. <sighs> There's really no words. There's really no words to describe this. There's no words to describe this. Um, I, 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 I really have no words to describe this. The fact that we lost this just doesn't make any sense. This is how you know the game doesn't make any sense. And then it's like, I'm going to win with like the most random team. Like, oh, I'm going to win with the Rangers. It's, just, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, but... Do we have any injuries? Or do we just... Chris Taylor tore his hamstring. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, that hurts. He was probably doing pretty good in the postseason, wasn't he? I don't know. He might have been. He had five at-bats, and he was hitting 600. And Gavin Lux was terrible. So, who knows? Either way, I'm just going to go to the full screen. I can't even outro. I gotta outro. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments below some more video days. Check out my socials down in the description. We got a playlist down below containing other content related to MLB The Show 22. And check out my channel for like content from me, TJP. I, I really got no words to say. I, I I cannot believe that we didn't win a we didn't win with this team. I, I even knew. I even said I'm like I said it. I literally said this is what I said. I said the Dodgers won three straight championships three straight world series and i said the moment i pick them they're not going to win and what happened i told you i told you i told you okay well either way uh i'm gonna head on out take care see you soon peace